The Hydrofoiler XE1 is the world's first hydrofoil e-bike. It can be used on any kind of water surface. It uses hydrofoils to lift the bike up out of the water and can glide at speeds of up to 12 miles per hour. It uses a modular design for easy assembly and in-car transport. It offers three electric assist levels that can gear up or down depending on your needs, with up to 60 minutes runtime on the highest assist level. Want one? It only costs $7,000. A company called Jetpack Aviation has made a jetpack which they demoed in front of the Statue of Liberty in New York. It uses powerful turbines, each producing 200 pounds of thrust, to lift a person thousands of feet into the air at speeds of up to 120 miles per hour. These jetpacks are actually on the market, and they will sell them to highly qualified buyers. But if it's your dream to fly a jetpack, you have a better option. At their headquarters in California, they offer training to fly these jetpacks from certified instructors. Cyclotron Bike This is probably what some would envision as the bike of the future. The Cyclotron Bike has unique design and great functionality. Whether you're getting groceries or just having fun riding it, this bicycle will take you where you need to go. The bike is fully integrated. All the components, such as the drivetrain, brakes, and wheels are cleverly enclosed in the frame. Not only does this make the bike look sleek, but it also helps with aerodynamics. One thing you probably noticed is that the wheels have no spokes, and they light up at night with an automatic light sensor. This tremendously impacts visibility at nighttime. It has two riding styles, sport for optimal speed, or comfort, for a more relaxed and upright position. It even has tandem mode, so if you know someone that has this bike, you can link their front wheel to your rear wheel socket and now you're riding in tandem. It's hard to see anyone ever using this, but it looks interesting anyway. The Mercedes-Benz Vision AVTR is one of the strangest cars ever made. Inspired by the 2009 hit movie Avatar, it's a sleek beast. To accentuate its theme of nature and life, it sports 33 moving reptilian scales, which are meant to mimic an animal extending its fur. The profile of the car is dominated with rugged wheels that can change color and ovular glass for the doors and windows. This vehicle's unusualness extends to its function as well. Instead of a steering wheel, it uses a multifunctional control element, which uses a person's palm for steering and menu navigation and it can move nearly sideways thanks to its all-new rotating axles. Like most vehicles on the list, it's fully electric and seeks to promote the idea of balance between nature and technology. Have you ever wished you had a flying car? That's exactly what the Aeromobile sets out to be. With the flexibility of driving on the road or soaring through the air, traveling has never been more efficient. To switch between drive and flight mode, it uses a folding wing mechanism, quickly transforming the car into a flying vehicle. The exterior is highly aerodynamic, lightweight, and sturdy. It reaches top speeds of up to 99 miles per hour on the ground and up to 223 miles per hour in the air. The interior is made with premium materials, structural carbon, and the finest leather with an advanced display set up to assist with navigation, whether in the air or on the ground. Safety is a top priority, so it comes equipped with pyrotechnic seatbelt technology and dual-stage airbags, as well as vehicle recovery ballistic parachutes to bring the vehicle back to ground safely. So if it's your dream to pilot a flying car, pre-order today. Have you ever seen Back to the Future Part 2? If you have, you'll remember that Marty uses a hoverboard to get around town. Well, maybe its prediction wasn't too far off, because a company called Hendo has come out with the world's first hoverboard. Touted as one of Time Magazine's best inventions of 2014, the Hendo hoverboard promises to offer an exhilarating experience for all riders. The magic in its hoverboard lies in its disc-shaped hover engines. These engines produce an opposing magnetic field in the surface below to generate lift. Currently, its creators use commonly available metals in simple sheets to give the hoverboard flight. 
but they are working on finding new compounds to maximize efficiency. Using this magnetic levitation technology, it achieves one inch of height off the ground, which is optimal for skate ramps. Right now the Hendo hoverboard is just a prototype, but maybe soon it will be something you can get your hands on. By putting this technology in your hands, who knows what we can develop together. The wheel may finally have some competition. Thanks for believing. This is an invention you probably weren't asking for, but it's cool nonetheless. It's called Vimo. It's sort of an odd combination between a bike and a car. And it's a service for personal transportation in urban areas. Like a car, it's fully covered, so you're protected from the elements. It features advanced electronics, pedals with electric assistance, and a decent amount of cargo space. Best of all, you can drive it in bicycle lanes and park it as an e-bike. No driver's license needed. Finding a vehicle is as easy as downloading a smartphone app and tapping a few buttons. I can ride a bike. It was like exhilarating, it was thrilling. It's very easy and it's a uh, good exercise. I like it and it goes fast and it's easy to ride. <laughs> this is this is genius. A Chinese company called Ehang has unveiled an electric autonomous drone that is capable of transporting a single passenger. It weighs 440 pounds and can carry a load of 220 pounds. Fully electric, it can carry a passenger for 23 minutes at a speed of 62 miles per hour. To get where they want to go, a passenger would simply enter their destination in a smartphone app and the drone does all the work. It can charge in 2 to 4 hours. The company is still working to make the aircraft commercially available. This includes coming up with more safety measures. The company is planning to build flight command centers, and the aircraft have technology to help them land safely in case of an emergency. This drone taxi may be a techno curiosity for now, but many companies see the benefit of drones, such as Amazon using drones to deliver packages. So it may just be a matter of time before the Ehang 184 is available. But when you consider jetpacks have been in development since the 1960s and we are still waiting on those, I would not hold your breath. In 2014, Toyota debuted a car model named the FV2, a vehicle meant to exemplify the company's fun-to-drive philosophy. One unique aspect of this car is that it uses a totally new method to control the vehicle. There are no pedals or steering wheel, instead the driver leans forward or backward to accelerate or decelerate, or they lean left or right to steer, shifting their body weight in a natural motion. The FV2 carries a huge emphasis on integrating humans with technology. To connect with the driver, it uses AI to learn as it is driven, picking up on the driver's moods and habits to solidify its bond with the pilot. It connects with other vehicles in the area to give the driver safety information, such as blind spots at intersections. To customize the vehicle, the driver can change any of the colors on the exterior panels. While somewhat impractical, it definitely takes great strides in technology and the way humans interact with it. For several years, the ride-sharing company Uber has been promising flying taxis, and at CES 2020 they unveiled a partnership with Hyundai to produce these vehicles. Hyundai is planning to build a drone-like aircraft for Uber called the SA-1, which will fly at speeds of up to 180 miles per hour with a 60 mile flight range. The vehicle will recharge at Uber Skyports in under 10 minutes. It will be powered by a central electric motor which will power multiple propellers on the airframe. Uber Air is supposed to take off in Dallas, Los Angeles, and Melbourne as early as 2023. That's it for this video everyone. If you liked this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.